Welcome to Zoho CRM. Reports. You will learn the different types of reports that you can create in Zoho CRM, how to use the Zoho CRM built-in reports, how to export reports, how to create custom reports, and how to create and use dashboards in Zoho CRM. So here I am in my Zoho CRM account. Before going over to the Reports tab, I want to look at the Deals tab and emphasize how important deals actually are. Deals are basically all of the sales opportunities in your sales pipeline, and this is the backbone of sales tracking. As you can see, these deals are in a variety of different stages, from qualified to negotiation to actually being closed. These deals and their stages are going to dictate the output from the various reports that you can look at. So let's go ahead and click on the Reports tab. You can run reports every day to see how your company is doing. You can run reports on events, calls, tasks, notes, notes added per day, how many leads are coming in, and how many leads have been converted. You can filter leads to see how many leads are in a certain stage, or even how many leads are in a certain location. You can generate a report on pretty much any type of data you want, as long as it exists in your CRM. If you scroll down, you can see that there is a lot of reports here that have already been created. These reports are organized into folders based on their type, such as account and contact reports, lead reports, deal reports, activity reports, and so on. These are all what we call built-in reports. You also have folders for favorite reports, reports created by me, and scheduled reports for easy access to the reports that you might use the most often. Reports dealing with your sales pipeline would probably be the most important because they let you see exactly how you're following up with prospects and what stage different leads and deals have reached. When you first start using reports, using the built-in reports makes it really easy to learn how they work. Let's say you go to Deal Reports and click on the Pipeline by Stage link. What you see here is a nice pie chart that shows you which stage each deal in our system is currently in. If you scroll down, you can see the actual numbers arranged into a table format, and you can see which stage each particular deal is in. You can also see the account name, deal name, the amount, etc. The pie chart is just the existing view. You can also edit this chart and change the way you see this. Maybe you want to change it to a funnel, so let's go ahead and select that. Now the way you see your deals in the pipeline has changed from a pie chart to a funnel. Now, if you want to filter this data, you can click right here. Suppose you want to see all deals that are closing in the last 120 days. You can select that date range. When you click Apply Filter, you'll notice that the funnel graph has changed. And if you scroll down, you can see all of the deals for the last 120 days. Under each stage, you can see the owner, account name, deal name, and the amount. If you want to export this into an Excel spreadsheet, you can click on the Export button. Here choose the PDF, XLS, or CSV format, and you can work on the data within the exported file. You can even schedule reports to automatically run at a certain interval using the New Report Scheduler option in the Scheduled Reports folder. Let's take a look at another type of report. For this report, I'm going to click on Deals by Type. As you can see, we have two types of deals in my CRM. We have existing businesses and new businesses. Again, we can look at this in the graph format, or if we scroll down, we can see some more details, including the name of each deal, the company, what stage it's in, when the closing date is, the amount, etc. If we look at another report, for instance, if I click on lead reports and select leads by status, we can see leads categorized based on their lead status. Again, we have a chart, and below it, we see the details. We can also look at deals by type or leads by ownership. So as you can see, there's a lot of different built-in reports that you can use. As you get more comfortable with the built-in reports, you can actually customize your own reports. To do this, just click the Edit button. Now, when you customize your report, you can choose how it displays and what columns of information you're going to have. You can choose how to group the data and which columns to total. You can even add filters, so if you want only leads owned by Amelia Burroughs, you can actually filter for that. 
you can add as many filters as you want and basically pull up exactly the data you want to see. Now in this case, I'm using the leads by ownership report as sort of a template and working out of that. So when you're creating your own reports, you'll probably want to find the template that's closest to the report that you want to generate and go ahead and customize it from there. Eventually, when you determine which reports are the most useful to you and you customize those reports, you can create what we call dashboards. Your dashboards are right up here. If you click on the dashboards tab, you'll see a dashboard consisting of multiple charts running at the same time. It's essentially an overview of your company. As you can see, we have a bunch of different types of dashboards, again, organized into folders, such as deal dashboards, account and contact dashboards, and so on. I can switch to viewing my deal dashboards, which has all the reports I run on my deals. Your dashboards are completely customizable, so you can have dashboards by month or by quarter, and you can have different dashboards for different sales reps. You can choose exactly what reports you want to see on your dashboards anytime you want. If you want to see the details of a particular part of the dashboard, use your mouse to scroll over to the part that you want. I'm looking at the leads here, and I can roll my mouse over to the contacted column to see leads in contacted status. If I click on that column, it'll take me to the associated report. Before you move on, please make sure you familiarize yourself with viewing built-in reports, exporting reports to a spreadsheet or a PDF, creating custom reports, and customizing your dashboard with components. For more information, please visit zoho.com slash crm slash help.